Hey, good morning everyone. It's Jim, also known as Classic Radios, making a rare appearance on camera. I usually don't show up here, but here I am. Um, just wanted to make a quick video showing how I send old television programs to my vintage uh, television sets. I've had a lot of questions about it, and I just thought I'd come online and make a video. Now, my longtime subscribers will know that I had a lot of videos up, and they kind of disappeared about a year ago. I um, took them all down. I got frustrated with YouTube for giving me a strike for a Bugs Bunny cartoon on a 1956 color television. So I pulled them down, but I'm over it now. So I'm going to start putting those back online. You'll probably see about 75 videos in my channel now uh, again. So, and slowly I'll try to add more, more content. But this is my first attempt at uh, being on camera. So doing the best I can. I'll uh, try to improve the video. I'm just shooting this with my iPhone right now. Just a, a quick video to... Uh, show you how I run the, sh run the television show. So um, stay tuned, and uh, if you're interested in seeing this, and I'll, uh, I'll show you how I connect them. Okay. okay, here's one of my vintage TVs. 1950s Zenith television I bought in Chicago, not far from the Zenith plant. Running the Honeymooners. And this is how I connect it. If you look in the back here, 75 ohm transformer right here going to the antenna screws out to coax cable which runs down along the bottom of the table all the way across to a VCR that I have under this cabinet. So I'll open this up. Sorry if the video is jittery. I'll pull this out. A little bit of a mess here. But um Here's what we have. This is a Western Digital media player and connected to it is a passport with all of my vintage television shows um, uploaded to it from, uh, from DVD. I used to run DVD but I've uploaded everything to a passport now and then I send that to the media player. So uh, then I come out of the media player into the uh, VHS player and then the coax out of the VHS player back to the television. So the television is on channel 3. This is on, uh, I think, L1. And that sends the signal from here all the way to the television. But what's great about this setup is now I can select any vintage television program that I own and beam it over to the television. So let me grab the remote. Is all the Honeymooners episodes of the Classic 39. But if I go back out of here, here's all my 1950s television shows, 60s television shows, cartoons, Three Stooges. So let's go back into the 50s TV shows. Let's just say I want to bring up a Highway Patrol. And I'll just select it. There it is. We're watching vintage television. So, hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, just let me know and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Hey, I forgot to mention in that last segment, you can also use an RF modulator instead of a VHS player or a DVD VHS player like I have. But I found that the RF modulators, most of them that I've tried, have always over-driven uh, the signal. And uh, you know, I'll get vertical rolling and all kinds of problems to the vintage set. So, Always a, v, a VHS, VCR player always works better for some reason. I, I don't really know the technical reason why. I'm sure somebody out there does. But, um, yeah, you can try an RF modulator, but I found uh, just go to, you know, find a 5 or $10 VHS player and you'll, you'll be a lot better off. So, um, okay, that's it. Take care.